Hello everyone, welcome back. And this video is continuation to our last video where we installed the Ansible tower. So now we are going to activate that tower or provide license to it. So you can uh, access your tower using GUI and provide your admin passwords. So if you haven't seen the previous video, you might face some issues in uh, relating to this one. So I would advise have a look on that. Now access your tower, provide your admin username and password. Now for the first time, you will be landed on the subscription page. Pardon, my machine is a bit slow. So unless you provide a subscription, Ansible won't let you start or use the tower. So it provides a 60 days trial license, so you can use that easily. So if you have an added subscription, just connect to it. Or if you have any manifest provided for them, you can upload it as well. Otherwise, you can log into your uh, Red Hat account. Just create a free account with Red Hat and you can uh, take the trial subscription from there. So you can see that just a minute. You can see that now that it provided 60 days trial. The day I made the video actually, so it left with less days, you have to accept the license and user. The benefit is that if a machine got crashed, anything will happen in mid 16 days. You can again create a machine and resubscribe to the same license. So isn't that cool? So now you have the GUI based front end for Ansible Tower. You have different things like uh, you can create an organization for yourself, create users or teams of the users. Uh, you can also create inventory like a normal Ansible CLI, create your uh, credentials, which you use in a similar manner in the Ansible CLI and the template for yourself. So in templates, uh, they usually gave a demo template. Uh, you can uh, use that as well and uh, create a one new one as well, similar to that. And we will cover that thing in the next video. So stay tuned with us. Thank you.